little shake out at Snowbird, little shake out at Snowbird. Get those legs loose, get those legs loose. Come on, come on. Tip of the day, find the starting line before the race day. Before I, I, I thought the, the starting line was up at the main village. It is not. It is here, about a mile uh, west of the main village. Just, just putting that out there. Feeling good, feeling good. Shake out and stretch went well. Legs are feeling great. Uh, the DOMS is all done. Delayed onset muscle soreness from last week. And last week, the gear that I wore is going to be exactly the same as the gear I wear tomorrow because it worked. It worked. So why change it, right? The Solomon Ultras. Going with them. Love them. Love them. Uh, Solomon hat. Watch out. Bright green. You're going to know I'm coming. You're going to know I'm coming. You can't miss me with that guy. Sun 2 Ambit Peak 3, the watch is working again. Somehow I figured out the settings and it's working now. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what I did, but it's working, it's tracking elevation correctly, and if it doesn't, I can fix it later on Strava. Just learned that, just learned that, that's kinda cool. Smith glasses, thank you Smith, love these things. They just like wrap around my face nice and good, so I like that. All right, the best choice I made at the Under Armour 50K at Copper Mountain last weekend was the Ultimate Direction vest. I've never raced with a vest. I, I usually use the handheld, or frankly, I've also raced with nothing and just get stuff at the aid station. But I took the vest last week, and the bladder is currently, this is a uh, little trick, is currently in the freezer right now. And so when I wake up at 5 a.m. tomorrow, uh, well, yeah, 5 a.m., I'll put water into it, and then I'm gonna have nice, cold water for a good chunk of the race not the whole race but a good chunk of the race because when you're working and it's hot out you like cold water is a lot better than warm water and your body temperature heats up the bladder and so anyway it's in the freezer and that's a little trick that i use and this guy has gels oh let me just show you here has gels in these little pockets so boom I go with the goo tastefully nude because there's no taste and I don't like gels, so, you know, just go with something that doesn't have a lot of taste. And it seems to work. So that's the vest I will be using and I'm excited and that is that as far as gear. Like, that's the beauty of running is that you don't need much. Of course, I'll have uh, my ASICs running shorts on and I believe ASICs socks even. So. All right, on to the race. Here's my game plan. This is my vision for the race. And listen, it can change like a drop of the hat. If the leaders go out fast, I'll have to go out a little faster. If the leaders go out a little slower, who knows? I might be in the mix right at the beginning. I do, you just got to be adaptable. You got to be flexible when you're racing. You can't be set in stone because the race has changed like that. But my game plan is to be top 15 at mile one, top 10 at mile three-ish, and then the first eight miles of the race is all uphill, mostly, mostly. And so I will try to do, um, I'll try to be basically like top seven to seven, top seven or eight by the top of that first hill, first big mountain, um, eight miles up. And if I can be top seven-ish, top eight-ish, and still have the leaders in sight, boom. That's what I want. That's what I want. And then by about mile 12, you go downhill for four miles, and by about mile 12-ish, uh, you're down and then you start going back up again. So when I start going back up around mile 13, 14, that's when I'll see how I feel. And if I'm feeling good, let's go. Let's go. All right, a good chunk of the race is over, over a third, not quite half, but over a third and well over a third. And let's, let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. So that's like the game plan. That's the gear I'm using. It's pretty simple, pretty simple stuff, but uh, I'm excited. Feeling good, waiting for Steve-O to show up, and then we're gonna go get the packets, and then basically go to bed, because uh, we, you know, we got an early morning tomorrow. 
and I'm editing this tonight so that it's published before the race. Anyway, all for you, YouTube, all for you. You want to kiss my lucky foot? Thanks, yeah. Number 10. Out of focus. This thing's harder than it looks. Yeah, right. <laughs>